<laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. Oh, yes, here we are with you on a Wacky Wednesday. Oh, no. Uh, welcome to the show, Jack. Afternoon, Swanny. I want to kick things off with a Christmas miracle. Give it to me. I feel like this time of year is when all the good miracles happen, right? And tis the season to be jolly, but tis, tis, all, tis also <laughs> the season to be at your local post office picking up mixed uh, missed deliveries. Of course. All the time. Yesterday, I went to pick something up. It escapes my mind what it was. That's how fried my brain is at the moment. Anyway, picked it up, got back in the car, drove home, and then realised I did not have my Brookshield Specsavers glasses on me. For 24 hours, I tossed and turned, thinking, (laughs) where could I put them? On the way to work today, I thought, maybe I left them at the post office. I walked in. I said, John, did I leave some glasses here yesterday? And he said, just to the left of the counter. Oh. A Christmas miracle. On you, John. They're back. I don't need anything for Christmas now because i got my Brookshield Specsavers and glasses. And they look fantastic. Chic, as you say. Chic. Hey, a fantastic show coming up too. The great Tanya Hennessy is stopping by the studio. We're going to give away a 1000 bucks in higher or lower. Register via the Nova Player app for that one. But next, Mystic Chrissy. Let's get Mystic. Specsavers is helping Chrissy with her mystical visions. Should have gone to Specsavers. Bar humbug, bar humbug, bar humbug. Why am I saying bar humbug, bar humbug, Rosanna? I don't know. This is not your time to shine. Christmas is not fun for you. No. Why? I'm a bit of a Scrooge at Christmas. That's why I'm saying bar humbug. It's a line from Scrooge. <laughs> You are not good at maths and all your childhood reports say that you were easily distracted. Correct. You are quite apathetic, Rosanna, and you don't think that your vote counts for anything in any election. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that sounds right. Trucks. You are an awful cook. <laughs> I can't cook. But you do like to clean down a bench. I've got bench spray. The word nifty came to mind. You love to clean the bench. I'm actually a cleaner, so... (laughs) Far up, Mystic. I was going to say this this reading feels like an attack, but it's all just spot on. You're just reading Rosanna very well. All I want to do is wake up in the morning and see your eyes. (laughs) Rosanna. (laughs) That was just a message from me. (laughs) You really hate going to bed with wet hair, Rosanna. Uh, Yeah, I never go to bed with wet hair, no. Why do I see a dwarf mini lop? A little rabbit, a little bunny, cute little bunny, little wrinkly, (laughs) twitchy-nosed bunny. Mm, No, I don't have a bunny or anything like that. Do you make a good rabbit pie? Maybe you're thinking of putting one in a pie. No, I don't cook. Do you like cheese on toast? Sure do. Right, that's where it is because in um, oh, wow. the name uh, Welsh rabbit, that's cheese on toast and it sounds like rabbit. So that's why I'm getting that. Thank you. There for you go. Clearing Let's that finish up. this off with a message from the other side. Uncle John says hi. Mm, no, no Uncle John. He doesn't say hi. You're lying, Mystic. Uncle Johan. <laughs> no. Uncle John. No. Gianni. No. Uncle Giuseppe. <laughs> no. Uncle Bob. No. Uncle Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Rosanna, you have just scored yourself a VIP Spec Savers voucher and 250 bucks cash. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And Merry Christmas, guys. And to you, Rosanna. Don't lie, Rosanna. You're a Grinch. The Chrissy Swan Show. It's Chrissy time at Priceline Pharmacy, and you're sure to find a little something for everyone, from fragrances and gifts to a new party look.
Give great gifts, feel fab and love paying less. That's the Chrissy spirit. Head in store or online at priceline.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. We've been on air for almost a, a year-ish and we've created the most beautiful community and I thank you every day for your input and for listening to me. But today I seek your counsel. Yesterday it was announced that the Macquarie Dictionary's Word of the Year Winning word, no, sorry, Merriam-Webster's, the US Dictionary, their winning word is authentic for 2023. And authenticity is something that I sort of thought I came up with on myself about three or four years ago because I was living a life that just didn't feel right. It felt like a hologram. I was the, There was the real me and then there was all this stuff that I was doing that didn't make me happy. So I've slowly gone back to my authentic me and I just do what I want to do and I'm very honest and, you know, it's really changed my life. You're doing you, boo. I love authenticity. It annoys me that, you know, it's the the catchphrase of the, of the year. But anyway, I have hit a snag on my truthfulness and authenticity. Oh, I love it. Because I'm, in, I'm, in, I, I'm so well practiced at it now, it comes instantly to me. Yes. But I don't know what to do here. So 13, 24, 10. How do you tell someone? What do you do when someone wants to meet you for a coffee or to be your friend, but you don't want that? It's a tricky one. It's so tricky because part of being authentic is not lying to yourself or others. So this is a friend of a friend. I don't know her. Um, Occasionally she will send me a text or respond to things on Insta. And she thinks that we would be friends and has said on a few occasions, we've got to have a coffee, we'll, we'll, we'd get along so well. And it's not that I don't like her, it's that I don't want another friend. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm not hiring. No. I'm not hiring at the moment. I jokingly always say to my mates, I'm at capacity. <laughs> I'm at ca- <laughs> and I, I know that, that, and it sounds, everything you want to say that is the truth. Sounds awful. Sounds so superior. It does, and it's yeah. n- it's not that. And I also don't want to say, I'm so busy because that is so tedious when people say that you're that, that they're too busy to see you. And that's also just such a nothing excuse because that's, you, you you find time to do other things. So I think being busy is just, it's just a lame excuse and it doesn't hold up. And also it is not the truth. I will tell you the truth while you're calling me, 13, 24, 10, what is the best way to remain authentic but not to hurt someone's feelings who wants to have a coffee with me and I don't want to. The truth is, I always say to my kids, after they've come up with a few excuses about something, I go, but what is the actual truth? Tell me the truth and then we'll work back from there. Yeah. And the truth is, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't think that we're going to have anything in common and I don't want to. No, and that's totally fine. You, but you, you can't know, it's your say that. You can't. But then there's also the thing of I know you want to be honest and authentic, but that's what I said in my sweeping statement the other day about it's not. It's okay to white lie, to, to tell a white lie. And if you're worried about hurting this person, I think it's okay to lie and it's not, it's uh, it's delivering... Delivering it in another way by just saying I'm really busy and the next few months are nuts. I, I don't have time for so it. So put it off and put- then just keep on putting it off until we both die. Yeah, essentially. I don't mind that. I could probably do that. I've been lucky so far in that often the text messages come through with two questions. So like, um, did you have a good birthday? When are we catching up for a coffee? And I've been able to answer one half of the text. So I've got, I had the most beautiful yeah. birthday. This is what I did. And I've just conveniently forgotten to respond to the request for my time. Let's cross to Becky and see what she thinks. Becky, what should I say? What's the nicest, best, honest, most authentic way to get out of this? I would be straight down the line and honest. All right. So when you say that, Say the words that you want yeah. me to say to this person or text. I'd like to be friends with you, but I don't – you can't say I don't have time because you don't have time. And I'd just be honest. You're at the top of your friend list. You can't fit any more people in. But it won't that hurt her feelings? Yeah, it kind of might, but at least you're being honest. And also, Becky, if – 
But what the, the truth of it is, if you came into the studio and I thought that you were fabulous, I would find time to be your friend, Becky. I don't want to be friends with this person. She's not not for me. Well, then just say that. Oh like, my being god! Straight down the line and honest. Like it's you got to be brutal to be all right. Cruel to be kind. Surely there's a way to do it that's like when you've got to give a tablet to your dog and you wrap yes. it in a bit of mince. That's like you need it. We need a good white lie that's delivering the truth. Yeah, but that also means that I don't have to keep on saying and I want to say it once and then never say it again. Michelle, what am I saying? You've already said it. You've already did. If she's a grade A stalker or a Klingon, <laughs> she already knows that you don't want to have coffee with her. She's <laughs> listening and she, and she knows. Oh, God, I hope so. That'll be great. If not, I'll send her this audio, Swanee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hard, isn't it? So hard. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Julia Michaels, one of the most underrated singers of our generation. The queen, issues. the queen of the duet and the solo. Uh, you're listening to the Chrissy Swan Show on Over. Let's do this. Who am I? A queen in the kitchen? Could be. Now find your queen vanilla in the baking aisle to discover how a little queen does wonders in your bakes. Chrissy Swans. Who am I? I mean, Laura, we would never have Julia Michaels in Who Am I? You wouldn't know who she was, would you? But I bet you love all her songs. No, I have no idea who she is. Exactly. Sorry. Go and do a little deep dive on her because you will love everything she's ever released. Don't ever interview her, though, because she's awful to talk to. <laughs> well, there you go. You are not awful, Laura. You are a winner already in my eyes, and I've got $500 cash to give you thanks oh. to Queen Baking. God, I hope you get it. How's your, yes, Christ- so how- I. How's your Christmas shopping going? Slowly, slowly. I've got a couple of things today, but besides that, nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't five hundred dollars help in the kitchen? Oh, it'd be absolutely amazing. You could really blow it all on a big grandmother ham. <laughs> <laughs> on the kids, on the kids. Oh, anyways, all right. Let's get <laughs> cracking. I've got five clues here about a particular celebrity, and I'm going to take a hundred dollars out of the five hundred dollar uh, cash kitty. Every time you get one wrong, clue number one. I'm Australian, and You first met me as a model, but I've done so much since then, including becoming very fancy. Full 180. Full 180. Become very what? Sorry? Fancy. Fancy. Yeah, she's a fancy lady now, and she wasn't originally. Okay. Fancy. Uh, Clue number two for $400 cash. Let's go back, way back to 2012. I had my own reality show in that year that aired on Channel 10. I must look that up. It'd have to be on YouTube or something. Oh, it is. I love it. It was such a good show. Oh, God, it'd be epic. Uh, Clue number three for $300 cash. You've probably heard me say, so where the bloody hell are you? Like, you also uh, probably heard me say, stop video camera ring me. Uh, Clue number four for $200 oh, no. cash. I am married to Australian actor Sam Worthington. Oh, no. Not Miranda Kerr. No. 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 So close. No. Clue number five for $100 cash. 100 bucks. Oh. You used to know me as Bingle. Oh, Lara Bingle. Yes. Oh, yes. oh no. <laughs> Lara now Worthington. Now that you've said that, yeah. I, I, I knew she had a reality TV show. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> it was so good. I need to see it again. Being Lara Bingle, it's on YouTube. And isn't she as fancy as hell now? She's great. They should so stylish. do a case study on her on how to turn your PR image around because she's really nailed <laughs> Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Chrissy's clickbait. You are listening to Chrissy Swan Show on Nova, and I've been clicking. Oh yes, I've been clicking because I'm a reader. I read every night. Do you? Yeah, I never was when I was a kid. I absolutely hated it. I feel like it was an act of rebellion. And then I discovered it later on. I think probably when I was so poor, I had no- nothing else <laughs> that I could do for fun, and I would go to the library in my early twenties and borrow everything and read it. I wonder if that'll ever happen to me. Decided like suddenly loving reading. Oh, oh! I thought you meant. Well, will you ever be poor? And <laughs> if you keep on spending one hundred and fifty dollars on oysters and dry cleaning per day, <laughs> the answer is yes.
Anyway, Trent Dalton wrote a book um, that everybody read called Boy Swallows Universe. I read it as well, and I loved it. Set in nineteen eighties in the in Brisbane, right? Which I love. Won all sorts of prizes. It's a gorgeous book. If you haven't read it yet, please do. Let's play a game of higher or lower. I know that that's coming up soon. How okay? The the amount of Australians that have read or purchased Trent Dalton's book. Oh no, globally, so worldwide. The amount of people that bought the book is ranged between a hundred and five million. Uh, I'm going to say five hundred thousand. One million people plus have bought that book, and when you think about, you know, the handing over of the book. Oh, I've read this. You read it too. Could easily be a couple of million people that are going to be very excited about the news that the TV adaptation is coming on Thursday, the 11th of January, to the streamer Netflix, I think. Sick. Trying to look. Yeah, Netflix. And I, for one, can't wait for it. Apparently, the scenes um, uh, with the actor Eli skateboarding around the, the city in uh, in Brisbane are just amazing. How and cool. the writer himself has said, I'm just so proud of how powerful and full-hearted the movie is. I love that. Now, let's move on to Kylie. Kylie. Our gal, Kylie. Today is a very special day, but I'll get to that in a moment. Very exciting news. Seven has secured the broadcast rights to an audience with Kylie for next year. Good. Now, this is a, uh, a world-famous format, yeah. an audience with. It's when someone sits down and just tells you all about their life and their, they answer deep questions and everything you don't like in a concert, Jack. No, I like an audience with, though, because I can watch it at home. So it's a vibe to sit at home and watch. All right. It's clear what it is. It's clear as well. If I were purchasing a ticket to see it, I'd be happy. Truesies, yes. I thought I was seeing Robbie Williams just sing for 90 minutes. I know. Well, I love Kylie. I will be watching this. And hip, hip, hooray. It's someone's birthday today. Someone's turning 35 years old. Kylie? No. (laughs) (laughs) Especially for you. Oh, my God. So that means I was 15 years old. How magical when you, this came out. Do you remember like the time of your life when you were listening to it? Like were you strolling the Camberwell markets? Of course I was, stalking both Jason Donovan <laughs> and Kylie Minogue because we all lived in the same suburb and just wishing someone would just one day look at me the way that Jason looks at Kylie. <laughs> is the Chrissy Swan Show. You are locked and loaded on the Chrissy Swan Show for your Wednesday breaking news. I don't know how you can be two places at once, Jack, because a woman (laughs) has been kicked out of the Sunshine Coast Plaza. Great spot. I used to love a coffee at Zarathas there. Um, For a feral, very common Aussie act called Walking Barefoot. I mean, there's nothing I hate more than seeing people barefoot out and about. Like, it's gross. Put some shoes on. But I will say, I thought at the Sunny Coast Plaza that would be okay. In a classic move, she has taken to Facebook <laughs> to vent her fury. I was at the Sunshine Plaza today and I was asked to leave because I wasn't wearing any shoes. <laughs> Bloody hell, just wanted to see a movie and go and buy some ramekins from Bay Swiss. <laughs> some Winnie Blues. Yeah. Since when has being barefoot been legal? I just wanted a frappe from Zarafas. <laughs> anyway, good luck to you. I don't know how you can be here and on the Sunshine Coast yelling at civilians for breaking the rules that you made. I know. I will enforce them, though. Hey, coming up, Tanya Hennessy is going to stop by the studio. We're also going to give away $1,000 cash in higher or lower. Two. Chrissy's Quizzy. Oh, yes, I've got a bum bag in my hand. Not just any bum bag. A money can't buy Chrissy Swan Show bum bag, and you want it, don't you, Caitlin? I definitely do. Do you think if that woman in the, at the Sunshine Plaza in uh, on the Sunshine Coast was wearing the bum bag that she wouldn't have been thrown out of the shopping centre for having no shoes on? Absolutely, because, you know, bum bags are so in right now. That's it. You never fully dress without a bum bag. Am I right, Ashley? Absolutely. Now, you live on the beach. Do you have a dog that you need to put its snacks in the bum bag? 
I don't, but I have kids, so similar. There's no, mate, there, <laughs> mate uh, sorry. There is no bum bag big enough to carry enough snacks for children. All right, let's see which one of you is going to reign supreme. I've got five. I've got lots of questions here. It's the best of five, meaning the first person to get three answers correct wins. Question number one. TLC have announced they're heading down under in March next year. Can you name one of the members? One of them isn't going to make it. We can still name them. Okay. R.I.P. One of them's busy. Ashley. Six feet under. Yes, Ashley. Oh, um. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Caitlin. <laughs> yes, Caitlin. Lisa. Yes, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. She is not coming because she died in a plane crash. But you got the point. Question Thank you. number two. <laughs> <laughs> it's uplifting, isn't it? Super uplifting. <laughs> In which sport would you perform a slam dunk? Caitlin. Yes, Caitlin. Basketball? Yep. Two points Whoop, to Caitlin. Da, da. <laughs> Whoop, da, da. Question number three. 13 years ago today, Adele released this hit. What's it called? Ashley. I'm on my feet. Yes, Ashley. Ashley. Um... Oh. Rolling in the deep, rolling yes. in the deep, rolling in the deep. And I don't know why, <laughs> for some reason, I'm dancing like one of the guys from Human Nature <laughs> to this song. All right, rolling in the deep, one of the greats. How much do we love Adele? Two points to Caitlin, one to Ashley. Question number four. Cozzy Lives has been named in the 2023 Word of the Year by Macquarie Dictionary. What is it short for? What was the word, sorry? Cozzy Lives. Yeah, it's in the cost theme. Cost of living? Ashley, y- Ashley. Yes, Ashley. Cost of living. Yes. Oh, girl. Two points me. to Ashley, <laughs> two points to Caitlin. Question number five for the win, ladies. This is a draw. It is a draw, Swan. Which AFL team has the colours yellow and black? Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Yes, Ashley, for oh, the win. Richmond. Correct. Yes. Good job, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you. I was in the bookstore on the weekend and I saw a book by Jack Revolt. Yes, and I thought mate. might make a good napkin set. <laughs> I have, I love that man. I don't want to read a book by a football player. No, and also it's the laziest Christmas present for someone with a doodle that you'll ever come across. Really? Oh, people just go, oh, yeah, he's a man. He's going to read about Jack Revolt. No, he's not. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. And one of the greatest benefits of having my own show is that I get to have all my favourite people on it. And here, fitting that bill, is the great Tanya Hennessy. Oh, hello. I'm so excited to be on your show and it's got your name on it. Oh, my God. I mean, normally when we have a guest on, we have a little dossier of uh, what they have to plug, what they've been up to. Yours is like a file. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it just like it's giving overworked. It's giving <laughs> too ambitious. It's giving exhaustion. We are going to talk about your picture book and your makeup line for Priceline. But what is not on the list is butter. And I need to cover off. You have a corgi. Yeah, people are probably going, wow. Butter, that's where they're starting. Just wanted, <laughs> That's where I went. <laughs> you want to go into margarine? You went with butter. That's where you're starting. Wow. Now, you have yes. a corgi, and I'm obsessed with corgis. And a lot, of people, a lot of people say to me, why don't you just get a corgi? Because then every time you see that corgi, every day is a great day. But I feel like that's cheating. Do you have? Yes, it's true. Do you have a great day every day because you see Butter's beautiful face every oh, no. day? Oh, no. No, he's a humper. Um, he's problematic. <laughs> um, I think he's got social issues. He's got IBS. Um, Does he still hate you? Yeah, he hates me. Yeah. He's so rude. I came home from a holiday in Dubai. I was away for a week. I thought this dog would lose his mind when I came home. Looked at me with his little side eye, <laughs> went, <sighs> and continued to watch the television. I was oh. like... What a shady bitch. How awful for you. Tell you what's not awful is your picture book, Pink Santa. Fabulous Christmas gift. You know, okay, I wanted to write a book about the dog and Mm. they were like, oh, it's a bit negative. (laughs) 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 I was like, I want to write a a, a book about a dog that hates its owner and they were like, it's for kids though, Tanya. I was like, all right, what about Pink Santa? (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, the idea is actually, it's so stupid. I had this pink Christmas tree up and I was looking at it and I was in a really small apartment. Apartment. It was basically on top of me, and I was yeah. like, "Oh my god, what if Santa put his suit in the wash the day of Christmas and it's turned pink? What would he do?" 
Yes. And that's, you know, the the, the show, the book is actually more about Christmas and laundry than anything else. He'd go to Priceline is what he'd do. It is available at all good bookstores. And And terrible ones. And and bad ones. (laughs) Literally anywhere you find good or bad books, you will find (laughs) Pink Santa. Now let's move on to your makeup line, which I am so excited about. You've collaborated with MP Cosmetics, which are one of the greats. You can get it exclusively at Priceline. Can I? So good, guys. You're in the in the studio, Tom and Jack. Listen to the names of of these eyeshadows: lower back pain, (laughs) unsupportive bra, my personal favourite, cake for dinner. And then it feels like you've run out of inspiration, and the top right is just called brown. Why brown? <laughs> it was meant to be like a joke. <laughs> like it's like ridiculous, 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 really non like normal. And I thought it would be like a button, like a joke, because I was trying to fit like comedy into a makeup palette. It's always it's- good when you have to explain the joke. <laughs> good job, Tanya. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> now, Jack, this is this is the second or third range that you've it's done. My third. It's your yeah. third. I thought so. And I can't even apply makeup. You tell me. <laughs> Who is a better talker and convincer of things than me? You can't. Like, I don't know how it's happened. I literally can't apply makeup. It's so pretty. I love it so much. And the first one, and probably the second one, sold out in record time. Are we best to go online for this? I think so. Mm. It sells out in the stores really quick, which is super wild. One thing we haven't mentioned is you did uh, radio for years. And, I mean, you still do. You've got your podcast with Nova. But we play a game called Stump Chrissy because Chrissy's like an oracle when it comes to music. And I want to pit the two of you together in this game. Stump Chrissy. Now, I've chosen songs from your time on air. Also, you know, you you started on air in 2011 in Canberra, I believe. Is that right? Uh, Newey, Newcastle. In Newcastle. Um, Your time in Canberra, the the songs that were played then were actually from 1978. (laughs) Correct. Yeah, we are are primed. All righty. I just need you to buzz in with (gasps) your name and then I need the title and the artist. Round. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. All right. No, don't be. Chrissy, Paradise Coldplay. Yes, Swanee. Damn it, you bloody God! <laughs> I can't believe how good I am at that. I'm so bad at this game usually. Good it's job, Swanee. Yeah, she's very... That's unbelievable. All righty, round two. That's because Chrissy has, like, triple coffees. Tanya! It's Miley Cyrus. We're here for Wrecking Ball. I came in like a... Oh, T-Hen. Oh, good job. One apiece. Round Wait. three. Yeah. Yeah. Jack, you know, sometimes if people want Chrissy and they can't afford the budget, I, I do it. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. They're Thank like, you. Thank you. <laughs> they go, we've got, we got low rent Chrissy and low rent Julia Morris. I'm like, I'll take the job and I'll do it for 30 grand less. <laughs> All righty. You're both on the scoreboard here. Oh. Tanya. At least you know, Tanya. At least you're honest with yourself. Oh no, I'm not God. honest with myself. That's just the industry just standard. Tanya. <laughs> That's just a fact, Jack. Alrighty, round three. Tanya. Yes, Tanya. The fancy Iggy is there. Yes. No. Did you know she made like seventy-five million dollars on OnlyFans this year? What it was revealed yesterday? Oh yeah. my god, I want to do OnlyFans so bad. <laughs> what is she showing? Her feet or what? Uh, like, or is she doing? No, she's doing naughty. Full, full work. Full naughty. Yeah. Like, Would you do full naughty? Me, <laughs> Tanya. I would. Would I you? I wouldn't do it for free, let alone <laughs> yeah. get a pay. <laughs> oh my God, no. All righty, Tanya's one, but let's do this last one for fun. <laughs> oh, Tanya. Yeah. I oh, think I've had enough. No. It's four or five seconds of Rihanna. Yes, great song. Tanya, you win. Yes. You, you made Chrissy. You're you not the budget win. Chrissy. It's Stump Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, budget Chrissy has beat you. LD Chrissy has beat Chrissy. Oh, my God. Tanya Annecy, you are a delight. I love you too. Also, I think you should do your own makeup line. If oh. that doesn't come 2024, I don't know what will. Um, I've just been offered the <gasps> um, Plumbers Awards in um, Marimbula to host that. Would you like to do that? Because I'm going to knock it back. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> The Chrissy Swan Show. We've already given away two grand this week. It's only Wednesday. Let's see if we can do another one. Think you know a bargain? Head to the reject shop and enjoy really low prices every day. Chrissy Swan's higher or lower.
Dear Reject Shop, I am enjoying this so much. Please buy lots and lots of these spots next year and let me keep on doing it. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hello, Christy. How are you? Oh, look, I'm so good because this is very fast becoming my favourite way to spend four minutes. And it should be yours as well because there could be $1,000 in it for you, my love. Oh, fingers crossed, hey? Were you a fan of the old game shows with Larry playing higher or lower? Oh, yeah. I love all the game shows. Though. Me too. I'm quite competitive. Too. Me too. For those people that did not grow up with nothing to do but watch Larry M to play <laughs> higher or lower, this is how it works. I've got an item that I have stashed in my basket from the reject shop. And I've also got a guide to how much the item cost me. Once the timer starts, we're going to start playing higher and lower. And all you have to do, Danny, is guess the correct price to take away $1,000 cash. Now, the item today is AJ. Spray and Wipe Bathroom Cleaner. An absolute classic. 500 mil and a very good quality spray gun, let me tell you. It is priced between $2 and $6. All righty, I'm starting the timer now, Danny. Let's play higher or lower. Where are we starting? Okay, let's start at $3. Higher. Um, let's do 3 50. Lower. 325. Yes! 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 Danny, you have won! Oh, Oh, thank you so much. That is $1,000 for you. Less than a month before Christmas. How fabulous. Oh, I love you guys so much. It means the world. It now, really and does. let me give you a tip. If you take that $1,000 into the reject shop, you're going to get about $25,000 worth of stuff. <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Danny. <laughs> Make sure you register via the Nova Player app or on novafm.com.au because we'll be playing again tomorrow. Chrissy's Clickbait. We've got to talk about Jada Pinkett Smith, okay? Oh. Um, she has sat down with one of my queens, Drew Barrymore. We love Drew. I'm trying not to judge Drew. And I'm I'm going to play all the audio, and then I'm going to I'm going to make an observation. Okay, right. so Jada Pinkett Smith, obviously in the news very recently for saying that her and her very famous husband and her very famous relationship has been a sham for ten or fifteen years. It seemed it turned out eight eight years. Yes, um, that that they'd been actually separated even during the Oscars furor, all of it, which I said at the time, I don't believe that they've been separated for that long. I think it was just a way for her to push this memoir and make people buy it. Maybe you're turning into Mystic Jack because this is what she had to say to Drew. You know, it sounds like you're staying together We're forever. staying together forever. Perfect. Okay. I tried. Um, we tried. What does that mean, we tried? Gosh, like We d- tried to break up, but we couldn't. Yeah, is that what she's saying, that she tried the separation thing? I think so. Well, you're a liar, Jada. You never were separated. But they gave it a red-hot go, the trial of the separation. She had other relationships and uh, it lasted for nearly 10 years. Yeah, it's very odd. It is odd, but also, like, you, it just goes to show you do not know what goes on behind closed doors. You don't know what those two individual people need in a... To get life through. partner. Yeah. It is very interesting. Then the women, absolutely. You know when you pull the, the plug out of the bath and it just turns into a funnel of... Nonsense. They, they just threw themselves in that bath and got thrown around in the funnel of nonsense. I just got this tattooed and you mention it in the book. I am human. human. That's it. Oh. Here's my observation. I, I mean, I, Drew is needs to have that tattoo removed for starters. <laughs> Sorry. I just feel like... Uh, don't they get sick of talking about themselves in that way? Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, totally. Like, like, I would never want to constantly be thinking that deep about my life and that's it. my journey. Like, stop saying the word journey too, Jada. You're it's annoying. The, it's the constant, it's the consistency of it, the constancy, the yeah. every conversation that Jada Pinkett Smith seems to have on her podcast or on her show or on an interview is all that kind of morose self-reflection mm. and sharing of 
information that nobody asked for. Like, where's the fun? Where does she have fun or talk about fun stuff or do fun stuff? I agree, and I just reckon, you know, she's in her 50s or whatever. Of course, bad stuff has happened. Bad stuff has happened to everybody. We've all sorted it out. Talk about it once and then go and live. Yes, live, honey. Go and live. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.